This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the file required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description, complete After Effects template is also available on my store, check out the link in the description. Now let's create a new composition, I will name it as logo reveal. I will set time duration to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the rust image file to the timeline, scale the image file if needed. Perfect. Now from effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to the media file. Adjust the mid-tone color as shown. Now let's pre-compose it, name it as texture. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. For texture, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline, for this logo composition. Let's add the bevel and emboss. Go to layer style, select bevel and emboss. In bevel and emboss, set depth to, 300%. Now set size to, 3. Now again go to layer styles, add the satin. Here you need to set the color as shown. For this logo composition, we will set mode to overlay. Now for logo, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to the logo composition. Set the start and end point of ramp. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for color armor. Add it to the logo. For color armor, in output cycle, set preset to, negative. Here you can adjust the preset. Set the top color as shown. Now set cycle repetition to, 4. Now let's add the lens flare media file to the timeline. Press S to bring up the scale, unlink the scale, set Y scale to, 30%. Now let's create ellipse mask for this lens flare, double click on ellipse to create mask. You can adjust the mask. For mask 1, set mask feather to, 400. Reduce mask expansion value to near about minus 100. Now for lens flare, change mode to, add. Position it below as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for photo filter. Add it to the flare, for filter, set density to, 100%. For flare, 
press T to bring up opacity, now while pressing Alt key click on stopwatch of opacity, enter expression, wiggle, 10, 50. You can see the wiggle effect. Perfect. Now let's create the background, create a new composition, name it as background. Now let's add the background media file to the timer line. Scale it to fit the screen. Now create a new solid. Here you need to set the color as shown. For background, change track matte to Luma Matte Solid. Now add the background flare media file. Change mode to screen. You can see the preview. Now for logo reveal composition, add the background media composition to the timeline. For background composition, in effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the background composition, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for field of view, set field of view value to, near about 120. At end of the timeline, set field of view to, 0. Select reverse lens distortion. You can see the preview. Now change all compositions to 3D. Create a new camera. Create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position. Now at end of the timer line. Create keyframe for position. Now at start, increase Z position value as show. Now select the end keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease, now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new solid. Set color to black. Now double click on ellipse tool to create mask. For mask. Select inverted. Adjust the mask feather value. And mask expansion value. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. For noise, set amount of noise to, 5. Perfect. Now let's create another adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for field of view. At start of the timer line, set field of view to, 100. Select reverse lens distortion. Now let's create frame, create a new solid. Name it as frame. Select rectangle tool. Double click on rectangle tool to create mask. For mask, change mask path, set unit to, percent of source, set top to, 10%, set bottom to, 90%. Select inverted. Now let's see the complete preview.
Perfect. Here our rusty golden logo animation is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.